Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, how did the universe begin? Well, the current sort of model we have is that the universe is currently expanding. So at some point it was not expanding, as in at some point it had to have started from somewhere. And so that's called what they call the Big Bang. So similar to sort of uh, when you inflate a balloon, when you start blowing into it, it, the balloon is initially nothing. And then as you continue blowing into it, the balloon starts to expand. So people think that our universe is expanding in a similar fashion. So I had one more question that what does the Big Bang consist of? The Big Bang is believed to be a, a immense concentration of energy, almost infinite amount of energy which was concentrated in one point. And this exploded for reasons that we don't understand uh, in any manner. And uh, the reason it's called a Big Bang is, uh, as uh, Krishna put it, we know that the universe is expanding and therefore it must have started expanding from some point and that point of infinite energy from which it expanded is called the Big Bang. Thank you, sir. Who proposed this model of the Big Bang theory? So, there are various people who have proposed uh, different versions of it. The ones that we use a lot nowadays is called the Friedman models. So, it was proposed by Friedman. Sir, what are the causes for this expanding of universe? We still don't know what the causes are. What we do know is it's expanding. Yeah. So, what we describe is how the universe is expanding and what it will continue to do. So, this is called the dynamics of the universe. But the causes itself, we really have no idea about it. I'd like to add that, you know, you, you hear things like uh, with dark energy, which is causing it to expand, and things like this. But these are just attempts to describe this fact. And even the observational fact that the universe is expanding is, is a rather indirect observational fact. And uh, so we really don't know. We really don't know. Thank you, sir. So are there any more theories related to the beginning of the universe or is this the only uh, theory that is doing the rounds right now? No, there are competing theories. One of the most popular competing theory is, uh, is the steady state uh, universe where, where the universe had no beginning and no end. Not as popular currently for the reason that it seems to not be able to reconcile many of the observational facts. But it is a, certainly one of the major contenders, yeah. So how do we understand that the universe is expanding? Are there any kind of signs or any happenings which indicate that the universe is expanding? This whole game started with an astronomer called Edwin Hubble and his observations. Um, he found that galaxies seem to be going away from us. And this was true no matter which way we looked at it, whichever direction we looked at in the universe. It all seemed to be moving away from us. Uh, he measured this using a phenomenon called the redshift, whereby an object moving away from us, the spectral lines of uh, atoms and molecules from that object will uh, look, will be shifted towards the red part of the spectrum. So he concluded that if, since every object seems to be moving away from us, uh, the only way you could explain this situation is of two, using two explanations. One is that we are at the center of the universe, which is a principle which uh, scientists don't like assuming. The other thing was that some situation like the surface of an expanding balloon. So even though we are not at the center, if you are sitting on the surface of an expanding balloon, you will find that all points, all other points on the balloon are moving away from us. And he also found that the farther an object was from us, the faster it was moving away. This again fits in with the surface of a balloon model. So that's how we believe that the universe is expanding. I'd also like to again add that, you know, this, the surface of the balloon is a very, while it's a visually appealing thing, please be careful while you use that to understand. The surface is really, again, to use a, uh, to use a cliche, it's the fabric of space-time. Okay, so it's as if the ruler that you're using to measure one centimeter that one centimeter is expanding. Okay, so it's something that you need to turn over in your mind and, 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 and uh, not use very carelessly until you've understood it well.